वेलकम गाइस टुडे वी विल सी द रजिस्टर व्हाट इज द वर्क ऑफ रजिस्टर एंड एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा लेट्स मूव टू नेक्स्ट स्लाइड रजिस्टर व्हाट इज द वर्क ऑफ रजिस्टर सो फर्स्ट सी द लोकेशन ऑफ रजिस्टर इज आर और पी आर इन द बोर्ड वी विल सी एंड द यूनिट इज ओम सो वर्क ऑफ रजिस्टर इज इट रजिस्ट और अपोज द फ्लो ऑफ करेंट ऑनली द वर्क ऑफ रजिस्टर इज इट अपोज द करेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू हिज कैपेबिलिटी मीन्स रेजिस्टेंस पावर ओके we will see the working of register you can see 19 volt and 2 ampere is crossing from this register and what will happen this is just a example see it decreases to 15 volt and 1 ampere it resist some voltage and current so this is the working of a register now we need to move in laptop motherboard you will find two types of register one is called as individual another one is called as network register network means where there is a more than one register are packed in one package we will see unit as i told you ohm and represented by r or pr so we need to move next tolerance letter coding of register if in register somewhere in register any letter is written what is that meaning of that letter if b means 0.1% tolerance tolerance means it tolerate of its value on that percentage means if 10k is the value of the register then if g is written there then 2% ups and down it can resist not more than that this is the meaning of the tolerance so the letter and the tolerance value is there okay k means 10% m means 20% j means 5% g f d c b you can see next smd register code so in re smd register there are three types of code are there basically you can find three types of code one is three digit code three digit will be there second one is four digit code and another one is e i a 96 coding this is very rare one the first two you will find more the basically the first one is three digit so let's move further and find the three digit coding register how to calculate the register value when the three digit coding is there you can see if in register 450 is mentioned then first two digit you have to put as it is and the next digit you have to multiply with 10 to the power 10 okay you can see the examples 450 means 45 multiply by 10 to the power 10 means 45 ohm 221 means 22 multiply 10 to the power 1 means 10 you have to add last digit is the multiplier with the 0 10 with 50 that is 1 mega ohm okay in three digit code if r is there means this is the point and where the r will be present below the 10 ohm value you can see if the resistance is less than 10 ohm then the letter r is used to indicate the position of the decimal point for example this one i hope you understood the four digit code in four digit code again the rules are same the first three are placed as it is and the last one is the multiplier of 10 to the power you can see 1 means 10 to the power 1 2 means 10 to the power 2 and this 3 are as it is the calculation is like this and in four digit register okay the r means below 100 ohm like in three digit code the r below 10 ohm in four digit code the r means under 100 ohm means example you can see 15 r0 means 15.0 ohm okay so let's move further so here you can see 92 z okay 92 z what is the meaning of z and 92 in eia 96 coding okay so so you can i can read it out also there is a separate coding system in eia 96 making marking system this is a marking sorry making not marking this system uses three figure for marking the first two are numerical which indicates three significant digit of the value of register the third figure letter used indicate the multiplier understood two is again the third one is the multiplier how much multiplier we need to find it out what is the meaning of z okay let's move you see z means 0.0001 multiply x or sorry x 
y or r means 0.01 x or s means 0.1 a means 1 multiply b or h means 10 multiply c d e f you can see the multiplier coding system okay let's move the next and the first three code means if this one the code is 01 means this is the value the code is 02 means this is the value and 26 means this is the value in this type of register you have to see the table okay 49 code means as you see below 92 z z means here it this multiplier 92 means 887 887 multiply by 0.0.001 i think so in this way you can calculate this coding system right move to next one example is also there some example 92 z you can see 38 c the 38 value will be 243 so that it is written here and c means 100 multiplier so the result is 24.3 kilo ohm these are the example of this coding now comes how to check multimeter sorry how to check register through a multimeter so multimeter always check the register in value ohm in multimeter you can see the ohm division is there so you have to go to that for checking register okay we will find it out in the practical session so series register as i told before in series register the value of resistance will be added okay like this formula r1 plus r2 n number of r okay total resistance and in parallel it will get divided okay this will get divided in parallel okay okay this is the series and parallel one another concept is there pull up resistor pull up resistor means if in any path of signal or voltage if a resistor is attached with this path with a voltage source means that one is pull up resistor you can see the a and b two paths are there and 5 volt pull up with a resistor connect this path this is known as pull up why this is using and what for what purpose this we will cover up in the next some pages or in the schematic diagram i will make you understand this thing okay in which condition we are using which which condition we are using pull up resistor okay so just you remember you have to remember that if any extra voltage source is connected through a resistor to any channel it is known as pull up okay okay next if hi here i have written you can also read it out okay next pull down resistor there the voltage source is connected through the resistor here the ground is connected through the resistor pull it is down the voltage to come why pull down resistor is required for any circuit this is the main basic question you need to understand when we not when the thing is to complete any circuit we need a ground without ground we cannot flow the current we cannot complete the circuit right so to complete the circuit we need ground for that purpose the ground is connected through a resistor why through a resistor if in this in this diagram if we connect this ground directly then the voltage will go directly to the ground and it will get shot so from protecting from shorting and even complete the circuit for that purpose we need a pull down resistor maximum you can see 10k resistor minimum will be there in pull down below 10k i don't think so anywhere you will find because below if you put below 10k then maximum voltage and current will be grounded but in 10k it will not allow you to go through this resistor to the ground because the resistance power is more okay so this is the meaning of pull down resistor let's move to the next voltage divider this is a very 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 important concept to understand voltage divider means what voltage divider means how to divide the voltage through resistor combination so the rule is if the resistors are arranged in a series way here you can see this is the voltage source one resistor and another resistor is in series way when it is in series 2 3 4 no matter but the last one should be connected to ground if the last one is connected to ground then it is known as voltage divider and the question is if this point is 10 volt then this find how 5 volt come what is the calculation the calculation is this vcc means 10 volt multiply by r2 r2 means which is connected to the ground which is near to ground is known as r2 okay multiply by r2 then r1 plus r2 if you put this formula you will get the answer okay so in this way let me see 
the animation the 5 volt is coming okay we will see in the schematic diagram then you will understand in the better way next move the next if three resistors are there okay if three resistors are there then if we first you need to understand this this concept right if this is a voltage source 20 volt 10k resistor is there 20k resistor is there and 30k resistor is there the ground one is 30k if we need to find out this point so for this point 20k plus 30k is the r2 value you need to understand this why because if you add this two then both are ground but if you separate this two then this is not the grounded one so r2 means near the ground one so to find out this point particular this point you need to put r1 as this one and r2 as this two plus then you will find the voltage the first <coughs> you see vcc is 20 r2 is 20 plus 30 as i see as i tell you before okay and then r1 plus r2 plus r3 whatever you use. 10 this one this one this one you have to add so in this formula you will get 17 volt you will get 17 volt here next if you want to calculate this one then forget about 20 volt now this is your vcc supply and this is your r2 this is your r1 then put it down 20 30 okay you see now you will get here 10 volt with this the with the help of this formula okay you will get 10 volt and here obviously you will get 0 volt the main thing is this the difference the difference of this resistor the difference voltage of this resistor will be equal to 20 volt okay 17 and 10 difference is 7 volt okay 20 and 17 differences from this point to this point difference is 3 volt 7 volt 3 volt how much 10 volt and 10 volt and 0 volt difference is 10 volt 10 plus 10 is 20 so this is your three resistor combination in voltage divider if you put four then put the same formula in this man you will get the answer okay i hope you understand next you see this is going this is going ohm's law ohm's law i think you have heard about it ohm's law ohm's law means the relation between current voltage and resistor okay the ohm's law defines that the current is equal to voltage by resistance or the voltage is equal to current multiplied by r and vice versa you you can see you can see this thing this three formula is there in ohm's law so if you have any two value voltage current voltage resistance or current or resistance then third one you can see you can you can see the third one right you you put the formula and you can find the third value you can put if you know ir then you can find voltage if you know vr then you can find current if you know current and voltage then you can find the resistance so this is the ohm's law okay so this is this is a for in funny way i try to make you understand about resistance uh, this is the ohm means resistor this is the voltage whose work is to flow the current means force voltage means force current means the flowing is current actually whatever is coming that is current how it comes through some force the force is your voltage so this is the picture of it so voltage unit is volt and symbol is v current symbol is i unit is ampere and symbol is a resistance symbol is r unit is ohm and symbol is like this ohm okay so this is the formula i already explained you you can find out of three if you have any two 